Ladies and gentlemen, 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 something great is coming out of Barstow High School. Higher math scores, smarter individuals, enhanced cybergenetic humans. Okay, not yet. But this man will make it happen. Let's meet the man who started it all. Peter Esperanza! Hi, I'm Peter Esperanza and I'm a math teacher in Barstow High School where I introduce the concept of flipped classroom. Flipped classroom is a revol revolutionary teaching pedagogy wherein homework is being done inside the classroom and the lecture is now being done at home, giving me more time to teach math inside the classroom and my students having more fun with me doing projects and classroom activities such as this. I'm so sick, I wish I was at home. To be able to see how to find the derivative of each of the function using oh, wait. the formula. I am at home. This one is one of the formula that takes. Man, I wish I was at the game right now. <laughs> Huwag kang magalala dahil may mga math videos ang numberbender.com na kung saan naisalim ito sa Tagalog para maintindihan mo yung mga math lessons natin sa wikang Pilipino. Ito vector daw kapag uh, minultiply nyo or nag dot product yun ng zero sa vector. Ito. And this is how we do flip classroom model in Barstow High School. Good afternoon to every one of you. I'm Peter Esperanza. I'm a high school teacher in Barstow, California. And I'm here to present to you the research that I did in flip classroom. We all know what flipped classroom is, and flipped classroom is basically changing the teaching pedagogy wherein the students are doing their classroom lecture inside their houses and their homework inside the classroom. Now, what motivated me to flip my classroom? In year 2000, or school year 2012 and 2013, Barstow High School used to have six periods of mathematics, wherein each period of mathematics is comprised of 60 minutes of lecture. Now, the year after that, the school system changed its policy and now we have seven periods in one day giving us only 50 minutes of lecture time and lo losing 10 minutes of classroom period with all my math classes and with the amount of time lost for this particular change in the teaching policy i need to come up with ways on how to compensate with the lost time of uh, 10 mi minutes each day which is basically 50 minutes in one week, three hours and uh, 26 minutes in one whole month and for the entire semester it's almost 17 hours of lost lecture time for each of my math classes. Now I teach AP Calculus and AP Statistics and we know that the materials or the amount of materials I'm, I need to finish for that semester is pretty critical. So I decided to flip my classroom to be able to give more examples and more hands-on activities to all my math classes without losing the concepts that they need to learn for that year. Now there are several flipped classroom model. Some teachers use screencasts wherein they use their PowerPoint presentation and just record it using their voiceover to be able to explain the concept to their students and upload it online. Some teachers do podcasts and some teachers even just use an available videos online so that their students can watch it at home. Mine is a little bit special. I used Dr. McCammon's uh, FIS model approach wherein the teacher is supposed to be in the video so that the students will have a connection to what is being lectured by the teacher making it more effective for them to uh, flip their classroom and this is what I did for my flip classroom model. Now flipping my classroom is not that easy. However, with the FIS model approach, I was able to cut down the amount of time in preparations because now I'm just using my loose board, my markers, basically using every available materials that I have in my classroom to do or to give a virtual class in my, with my students. Now the preparation time for each of my flip video runs for about 10 to 30 minutes. And that 10 to 30 minutes is writing down all the concepts in my whiteboards and then setting up my video presentation. 
And then after doing my preparation, I then just record and upload my videos in YouTube so that I can then embed it to my website wherein my students will be able to view my math lectures at home. Now the flip classroom structure using my model is pretty basic. The students go home, play the video um, using their computer and my video usually runs for about 5 to 10 minutes. And from 5 to 10 minutes I usually just show 5 or 10 examples for each mathematics concept giving me um, a way on how to expose my students to the lessons that they will see the next day. So the reason why we're just doing the flip is for my students to have an exposure to the lessons that we're going to do the next day, giving us more time to have hands-on activities, more activities and more um, classwork for my, me and my students to work on. not just me flipping the classroom, my students also have the chance to their their own flips because we all know that teaching is learning twice. So that's what I did. benefits of having a flipped classroom is that you will never be away with your students. I used the flipped classroom approach or my previous recordings as my sub plan whenever I'm out of school. So my substitute teacher usually just show my previous lessons so that my students will be able to have a review materials based on the lessons that we did previously. So the videos or the pre-recorded videos that I have is usually used for my substitute teacher to be able to teach mathematics while I'm gone. Me and my co-author in the research that I did, Dr. Criselda Toto of Chapman University, decided to conduct a research on the effectivity or how Flipped classroom model will change the positive attitudes of students in mathematics. Now how did we measure attitudes towards mathematics? We used Tapia and Marsh um, survey or ATMI surveys which measures the attitudes of students towards mathematics in four different subscales which is value, enjoyment, self-confidence and motivation. Now the ATMI survey questionnaires consist of 40 questions. The students are asked to report the extent to which they agree or disagree with each statement on this Likert type scale ranging from 1 which is strongly disagree and 5 which is strongly agree. Now here are some sample questions on the ATMI survey that I asked my students to complete. Now this ATMI inventory, I asked my students to answer this during the first semester and I started it during the ninth week of that semester and this is basically the baseline attitude score of my students to see if there is a positive effect on their attitudes towards mathematics after being in a classroom using a flipped model approach. Now during the second semester, I gave them the same set of ATMI um, survey and uh, collected their data set to check if there is a difference on their attitudes towards mathematics after the flip. Now there are a total of 104 BHS students in this particular study and all those 104 students have taken mathematics in my class. Now this is the summary of uh, 
the number of students who participated in my survey before and after answering the ATMI survey questionnaire. Most of the research and the videos that we are seeing online talks about teachers explaining what a flipped classroom is. Now, and I want to show you from a student's point of view what flipped classroom is all about. Flip classroom is a revolutionary way to learn math. Okay, well, it's not that revolutionary, but it helps studs, I mean students like me, to learn. How is flip classroom different? Well, a student gets a free account on numberbender.com and watches pre-prescribed videos by Mr. E. We take down notes, and then in class, we're taught the material again quickly, so we basically get a double dose of education. I'm surprised nobody has overdosed on education yet. Then, we're given a worksheet and Dr. E can help treat our stupid right there on the spot with his algebra, statistics, pre-calc, or calculus knowledge. So how is Flip Classroom better? Because less time is spent lecturing the material in class, we can have time to do fun projects, such as finding correlations between height and jump length. and. For students who need more time to absorb math concepts, they can pause, rewind, and watch the video again. Also, when a this job gets me extra money substitute subs the class, the education is not worse because we watch Mr. E's videos again. And if you're Filipino, Mr. E has videos in Tagalog too. So, ang pagkuha ng derivative ng function na ito would be f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x times... Ay, salamat po! And what does a flip classroom mean for you, the teacher? Well, you will become a stud with all my classmates wanting you to go to their graduation. And they'll buy you cakes. Thanks to flip classroom, students and teachers alike are becoming total studs with great test scores and even better memories. Mystery's videos do help me learn math. They're, they're very informative, they're very professional. Uh, I don't really have much to say about them. They're very, very helpful, and especially in studying for tests, quizzes. Uh, Mr. E's math videos help me because he explains everything verbatim. Like with the lesson, he explains everything in detail. But uh, they help me a lot because I could go back and look to the things I couldn't understand. And if I miss a problem or got it wrong, I could also go back and see what my mistake was and other mistakes like that. No, I do not have any suggestions to make Mr. E's videos better because they're already good. All right, I suggest better lighting for his videos. Other than that, it's pretty good. I don't think there's anything wrong with Mr. E's flip videos. I enjoy watching them and it's an easier way to take notes. And after more than 30 weeks of being in a flip classroom model, I am now presenting you the results of our study. You would see the students' ADMI mean scores on the four subscales before implementing the flip classroom model. Notice that all the subscales mean scores are above 3.0. This means that on the average, the students have a positive attitude towards mathematics before the start of the flipped classroom model. Now, in this second table, we can see that there is an increase in the ATMI mean scores in all four subscales. The increase indicates that there is a positive change in the students' attitudes towards mathematics after the implementation of the flipped classroom model. 
We also want to see the significance of the ATMI or the average ATMI mean difference before the flip and after the flip. So you will see in this table that the value of the positive difference in the ATMI mean score before and after the implementation of the flipped classroom model. And on this research, Dr. Saldatore and I were also interested to see if there is a gender difference on the attitudes of students towards mathematics in using the flipped classroom model. And in this table, you would see that the male students have more positive ATMI mean differences, which indicates that there is an increase on their attitudes towards mathematics after a year of being in my flipped classroom model versus the students or the female students wherein there is a minimal or no change at all in their average mean differences. And out of the four math classes that I flipped last year, you will see from this table that there is an increase in the ADMI mean score in all four subscales for AP Statistics, AP Calculus, and Algebra 2. Here is a graphical display that shows that the increase indicates a positive change in the students' attitudes towards mathematics after the implementation of the flipped classroom model. This increase indicates that there is a positive change in the students' attitudes towards mathematics after implementation of the flipped classroom model. This is true for all my three classes. But in my pre-calculus class, you would see that this is not particularly true. It shows that there is no or very minimal change on their attitudes towards mathematics based on this result. Once again, we are just talking about the mean differences of my students' attitudes towards mathematics before and after the flip. So this graph shows similar trend based on our results on our gender comparison on my students' positive towards mathematics. This may be a small-scale exploratory study on my flipped classroom model and its effects on my students' attitudes towards mathematics. And in this conclusion, we're able to find out that there is an overall positive change in the students' attitudes towards mathematics in all four subscales. Also, we're able to show you that the male students had a positive change in their attitudes towards mathematics, but there is no change in the attitudes towards mathematics in my female participants. And also, among the four um, math classes that we studied, it shows that there is a positive change in the attitude towards mathematics for my AP Calculus, AP Statistics, and Algebra 2 students. However, it is not completely true for my pre-calculus students. Now once again, this is Peter Esperanza, and I would like to thank all of you for attending my BET session. And also I would like to take this opportunity to thank the entire team of I2I Events Group and the BET Show 2015 for allowing me to present my research on Flip Classroom even though I'm not here in London right now. So if any questions, you can email me at peteresperanza at numberbender.com or peter underscore esperanza at busdk12.com. Thank you so much and you all have a great day. The derivative of x squared is simply 2x. Now just like the previous example, oops. Now, <laughs> Thank you Ryan, you're the best. Okay, enough! Good luck.